All right, so let's talk about prototype and really the best way to talk about it is to just go and start doing it. And again, we're in a new file called 004.prototype.js and don't forget to update your HTML. So I'm gonna update my variable ver to be, called, to be version 1.003. But before I play our application, I want to uncomment line 11, where I commented out that I, we had our variable, which was in version 1.002. Now we have a conflict. We have a variable that's in line 11 called ver, and we have a variable in line 25, which is called ver as well. Now, it's not really a conflict, and the reason is, is because everything in JavaScript works with inheritance. And it's basically, even a better name would be a keychain. So our, you have the object itself, which is what's when we refer to something directly, when we refer to the this, we're actually referring to the object itself. While when we're referring to the prototype, we're kind of referring to the blueprint. We're referring to what we wish it to be. Now, basically the line of order is we first, JavaScript will first define all the prototype elements. And only after that, it will start overriding whatever it needs to based on what we put directly onto our object. Thus, if we go into our Safari right now and refresh it and look at our trace, we'll see that we're at version 1003. But if we go back into our code and actually save the changes that we've just made and go back again, we'll see that our version will be 002, making our variable that we created inside of our object override the variable of the prototype. And that's really in the heart of what a prototype is, and it's way beyond that. And really, in the next couple of videos, we're going to see really the heart of why we want to work with prototypes and how prototypes work. The idea of a prototype is, if you've worked with object-oriented programming before, is talking directly to the blueprint, or talking directly to the class, or talking, talking directly to the thing that's going to create our object. Contrary to that, when we refer to something with this, we're referring directly to the object that has been created. Thus, in line uh, 11, we're actually adding in this variable to our variable, or in many ways, updating the value from 1.003 to 1.002. All right? Now, there, it's always true. It's always whatever is nearest to the object is what takes into effect. And that's really all you really need to know at this stage with prototype. Now.